Hey everybody, happy National Serger Month. I'm so excited to be with you here today. I'm Barbara from allbrands.com and we have a special guest, Julian Collins from Julian Creates. I've been a personal follower of his for a very long time. He is such an inspiration to our community and we're gonna be talking about everything sergers and inspiring you and maybe teaching you a thing or two. So stick with us and we'll be with you in just a moment. excited i gotta say you are a big inspiration of mine i always see you on instagram showing something new that you're creating with your bernina machines and it just so happens to be uh national serger month and yeah. we have huge savings and deals from bernina so i thought it would be a great idea to have you on the show um welcome julian well, thank you so much for having me. It's so much fun to be back again. This is my second time here and talking about machines that I do love and do enjoy. As you can see from my display, I am a true Bernina person. I, I have vintage. I have modern. We have a little bit of everything. Now, no, I am a machine lover of all machines. I'm usually not discriminatory, but Berninas are my favorite. So I get to, I love to just be able to talk about them. Well, I have to say, too, I have my own personal Bernina here. Um, it's not the same one that my mom sewed on when I was a young girl, but it's a 1090 um, made in Switzerland by Bernina. And it uh, just brings me back. I, I love it. But, hey, we have two giveaways that I have to announce before we get started um, with, um, with everything. So our first giveaway we're going to do at the end of this broadcast. So to be eligible for that, go ahead and comment hashtag all brands guys in the chat. Um, if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook or our so forum group, um, the other way to win is if you're on Facebook or if you have Facebook, go ahead and go to allbrands.com on Facebook and share this video publicly on your page. And I will pick one lucky winner at the end of the broadcast to win another $25 allbrands.com e-gift card. And Julian, I have to thank you because you've shopped on our website in the past, which we really sincerely appreciate your business. Can you, Absolutely. Can you tell the folks just a little bit about what you purchased? Oh, absolutely. So I love all brands because it, there is such a wide variety of things that are offered. Um, so from machines, so I purchased a Burnett there. So I purchased a Burnett B42 cover stitch. I don't have it out yet because I upgraded. Um, but then I also have um, purchased even accessories. So the case, oh, let me turn this away. <laughs> The case that one of my vintage machines in, this is a um, Gimsey case that is not, you can't find it other places. And I'm glad that All Brands was able to carry it. And it works perfectly for this. Um, Bernina favorite is an 840 favorite. Um, also works perfectly for um, my Bernina 950 industrial. So it provides great cases for your vintage machines. If you are a vintage machine enthusiast like I am. You sure do have a lot of sewing machines, Julian. I'm impressed. <laughs> I counted in a meeting not too long ago, and we have surpassed 60. I think we're at like 64, 65 currently. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. Well, tell us a little bit. How, much, how did this all begin? How did you become a sewer? 
So I have always been fascinated by sewing machines and sewing. I grew up in a family of sewists. Um, so my grandmothers, both of them sold, my mother sews, my aunt sews, even my father knows how to sew. Um, but they didn't teach me. Uh, they you were never. Teach me. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, I went to school for fashion design, did not like it because in fashion design school, fun fun fact, it takes a long time before you actually get to touch a machine. Hmm. So I was like, yep, nope, don't want to do this. Went into public health and um, started sewing in 2016 on my own through YouTube and books. Um, I had tried other machines until I bought my own vintage machine of my choosing. Um, that's what stuck with me. And I have been sewing ever since and trying different machines. And once you kind of get into like, oh, each machine sews a little bit different. It has a different feel to it. I'm like, oh, well, I have to feel them all essentially um so beyond sewing came sewing machine collecting and one thing that rung true early on is the statement that nothing sews like a bernina i had to try it i was like okay i have to see what this is about so my first bernina was a uh 1000 special yeah 1000 special and we have been going ever since and i think we are at yeah maybe 13 14 berninas now um that is probably the one that i the most of uh, one brand of a machine that i have and i have not regretted them since so all the tools <laughs> I, you know it's i love it i'm it's kind of like guys have uh, have all other like screwdrivers and and power tools mines are just sewing machines which are basic yeah. scrolls yeah. for fabric so. It's like makeup brushes, hair brushes, any kind of thing that people collect. If you love it a lot, you end up having a lot of them. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, um, tell us, what is that um, older Bernina machine behind you? So this is my... Um, so this is my newest acquisition. So this is a Bernina 840 favorite. So it is uh, came out in the 70s, 60s, 70s, around the same time as the 830 record, um, which is still, I think, one of their highest selling machines ever. Um, and this it's is just so the, the flatbed version. Um, one of the smoothest running machines is, uh, that I own. I love that it provides the stitches that I need, accurate, beautiful top stitching. Um, has a really strong motor. I can turn, go max or minimum. So I can kind of slow it down a bit so I can really get precise step-by-step -step stitching. Offers a knee lift, offers everything that I want from most machines um, and just in a vintage form. And I love operating with my vintage machines just as much as I do my uh, modern ones. Oh my gosh. I love that you mentioned the knee lift because yeah. knee lifts or uh, oh, they call it freehand system, I think was invented by Odette Olchi of Bernina in the it 70s. Was. And it is one of my favorite tools on sewing machines, not just Bernina, but all of the other brands who adopted that technology. It just allows your hands to be free um, to hold the fabric while you use your leg to raise and lower the presser foot. It's great. Absolutely. Every time I go to a machine that does not have it anymore, I can always feel my knee trying to find it. Um, <laughs> I find that it just provides an accuracy that you can't get from other um, with other machines and, and, and when you're doing your projects, especially I'm a garment sewist. So there's a lot of precision when you want to start at a dot or you want to start at a certain space. And when I'm able to hold my hands there and lift my presser foot up by my knee, I'm able to really maneuver things the way I want to and get the precision that I want to to make sure that everything is is looking the way that I want it to look. And now that that's also available in our um, sergers, just game changer. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> I, I don't know of any other brand of serger that has a knee lift. My eight... This is my personal 890 behind me. Um, it has the knee lift attached here. Um, I use it all the time. Absolutely. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's, as soon as like all of my machines now have basically knee lifts. And yeah, I can't, I would not go back. Would not go back. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so not only like the knee lift, but it's like the professional pre precision stitching that, that they just 
have mastered with the Swiss engineering. I'm just so impressed every time I sit down at a Bernina. But the sergers, I mean, can I, it's very cheesy to say, but they do blow me away because <laughs> the sergers have the air, air threading, which I'll show or you'll show later on in the show. But that's that's one of my other favorite features for sure. Absolutely. I know that when I started sewing, um, and before I even really started working with Bernina, I um, had a serger, but it was just for hymns mm -hmm. or just, just to finish the scene. I didn't change thread colors. I didn't do much of anything. I was like, I'm not going to mess up my tension or anything. We're not touching it. We're leaving it alone. So I will make a whole black garment and the whole thing will be surged with white because that was in the machine and I was not going to mess it up. Um, and then I started really working with um, Bernina. So I started um, as an ambassador and able to be an expert with the L860 machine, which I have in front of me here. Um, and when I started doing that, there is already a kind of like a sewing teacher sitting next to you. It already built into the machine. That is nice. It's not like the one that kind of wraps on your hand if you do something wrong. I think yeah. we've all experienced those sewing teachers as well. Um, <laughs> And the videos that you can see and how easy it is to thread. There's you are able to be free to explore the machine and have a lot of fun with it. That uh, can't be said for other products, or if especially if you're intimidated by a serger, a serger like this is really one that really walks you through the process of how it works. Can we really hone in on the fear right now? <laughs> because I think that we have all been there. What is this machine? This is scary. There's more moving parts to it. Um, There's a knife. There's a knife. And I think, so uh, one of my friends, her name is Raven, Raven Maureen, here on, on the interwebs. Um, she said that when she was learning and her teacher was talking about um, the surgery, she said that that woman kind of put into her head that the knife can cut through bone. <laughs> so, just, wow. just, just, <laughs> that is scary. I'm like, why would you do that? But yeah, <laughs> when you have the, the you see the needles, you see how it's making stitches, and then you see pieces that are coming up with with thread through the machine. It really can look intimidating, but oh, the geez. way that it is explained, especially in the machine, and just how smooth this machine operates, how it has the safety feature so that it does not run. When you don't want it to run, it makes it a super simple machine to learn on and really right. have some fun with. <laughs> right. Um, and let's definitely show everybody later how certain machines can take all of the fear away with uh, using a searcher. And whether it's threading or whether it's having like a best friend by your side telling you every button to push, which is my L890 and your L860 there. Um, it has a inter uh, an intuitive interface that walks you through everything and we'll show everyone that later it's the best serger that i've ever sewn on in my entire life it's totally fantastic uh, but let's let's get back to you um tell us a little bit more about like uh have you always been a professional sewer or how did you how did you get to this point YouTube and or like so starting so I've literally have not even been sewing for 10 years so it started in 2016 really? uh-huh wow yeah. <laughs> and but once I like got my footing in it I just like dived in and really wanted to learn as much as possible and started to share my journey um so once I started sharing on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook um, I have a Facebook group called So Manly that focuses on menswear, masculine inspired fashion um, and sharing my process through there and getting noticed. That's how I kind of started working with stores and I started working with brands such as Bernina, um, started working with different fabrics and started even being able to teach. Um, it really just kind of started from there and has blossomed. Um, and I, I feel that I am still close enough to being new that I remember a lot of the trepidation that I had when I started sewing. And I want to make sure that it's a fun process for people. And people are able to really dive deep into their creativity. I think sometimes we forget how to be creative, even as people who create stuff. 
Um, hence my name, Julian Creates. I really, um, I saw, I see it not only as a cute moniker, but it is a mantra. I create the world that I want to see through the things that I can create on a daily basis on my sewing machine. Oh my gosh. Do you have some items that you want to show us? Or sure. So of course, I love to use my I love to use my surgery for everything. Um, so even in this shirt, like all of my hems and stuff are done on my surger um, and all of my um, seams. I had gotten to the point where most of my woven garments, especially for like your underarm seams, your armholes and different things like that, I complete those on the surger instead of doing like a flat belt seam. Personally, that's just how I like to do my clothes. I love that it gives it a nice clean finish on the inside. I can then go and top stitch it on the outside if I want to. But, you know, I make that work. And now even so with the, um, if you have like an L890 or I have a Burnett B68 as well, with the combo stitches, you can do a lot of your woven sewing and kind of cut out some middleman steps. If you want to sew with a combo, you can get the sewing as well as that overlocked edge on the end. Super nice to have. But not only that, just finding ways that you can use your serger as well as the different feet that sergers offer. A lot of times people think that it only offers the one foot that's on the machine, but there are so many more. From your blind hem foot, you have your cording foot, you have piping, you can do sequins. There are so many different things that you can do with elasticators and how you can do elastic, gathering, all so many different fun things. Just this past week, I was playing with um, this crossbody bag pattern from Suo Veri um, of Suki Souls, And just look at this. So this has piping. It has some flat. Um, this is a flat lock on both sides, even a zipper. This bag is fully lined. And we did this all on the serger. So wow. the only thing you would need a sewing machine for this, like for this pattern, is literally just to attach hardware if you wanted to make it into a full crossbody bag. For me, I like to use this as a pouch by my machine. So um, as I'm traveling and different things, so it was the perfect um, little pouch bag that I can put all my little notions and my feet in if I'm traveling, um, going different places. If I don't want to carry the large carrying case that these machines come with just for um, space reasons. But this is like just a super handy bag and it's full with foam and stuff like that. And especially with like the Bernino um, sergers, they they are just so robust and so strong. You don't really have to worry about if things are going to get messed up. But now what's also great is we just also, this past month had quilts, National Quilting Month. And people sometimes forget that you can use your serger, your overlock, your cover stitch for quilting. One of the great things that is now happening is that Bernina is actually coming out with a new edition. So the L890 Quilters Edition. Um, and with that comes a new book, the big book of serger quilting. Um, so one of the things that I've done, and this is just me um, playing around and having fun. So this is a quilt top, just a disappearing nine patch that I made with um, layer cake squares. But as you can see here, it was oh, all pieces. It's perfect. <laughs> all no pieces strings. on the block. Oh, wow, Julian. That's amazing. <laughs> so super simple. And even the same way that you could do a bag like this, um, you can do a lot of, if you have a, um, like the 890 or the B68, you can also do um, all different types of top stitching and stuff like that and do different designs with the cover stitch feature on your machine. You can also do your piping. You can also do um, just even doing your binding and stuff on your machine. It takes a lot of the guesswork out and it shows different ways that you can now use your machine and just having fun. And that's just showing squares, but also from putting things together. So I've put um, blocks together. You can make full blocks. You can then do flat lock here and showing some of like the ladder stitch or the flat lock. And like you can get into full precision. This was all done on a serger. Wow. So That's just people don't always think that they can be as precise with the serger, but that's not the case. And especially with the uh, 860 or the 890, 
there is so much you can do, especially with the freehand system. It allows you to really place things where you want to with your hands. And even using some of these quilt blocks, I'm seeing a lot of people doing the upcycle projects with um, recycled quilts and different things like that. These machines are perfect. They can handle the heft of the batting and stuff if you want to do sleeves, and especially because they also have a free arm system. So it just makes it super simple for you to really create any project that you want to. Julie, and you got me so excited because you mentioned binding on a serger. And if you folks watching have never experienced the binder attachment for the L8 series overlockers by Bernina, it's pretty nice. <laughs> it's so cool. Lauren, if you're listening, please add that to the description in the link of this video. We'll make sure that it gets added for sure before the end of the video. But that but is all the feet, especially if you've worked with a regular Bernina sewing machine, you know how robust and how great in quality the feet are. The same or said can be said for the serger feet as well. And there are so many to offer that you can just start to really utilize in your sewing process and really have a fun time with your machine. And now, and we're just even talking about feet in the machine, but even just with the way the machine works, decorative threads, decorative stitching and different things like that, like um, things that have a, a higher weight, like a 12 weight pearl cotton or different things like that can really add a whole new look to a project just by making a simple change that you might not have always thought of. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I have a sample um, that I'd like to show, if you don't mind. It's definitely not as fun as yours, but uh, Pam Mashi and I made this. Um, it was like a Christmas table runner. And mm -hmm. so this is um, using a chain stitch. So someone always told me if I was on a desert island and I could only grab one machine before I go, I'm going to grab my combination cover hem serger machine so that I can do you know, straight stitch sewing through the, yep. um, the chain stitch, um, or you can do a decorative chain stitch. So this is with um, snazzy lock thread, chain stitch nice. just looped around the top, um, holding down some appliques that we cut out um, on the machine. Very cool. That's very cool. And, and then that's what's great about like a combo machine is even as you're talking about the chain stitch, but even for, let's say that you wanted to use that for um, collars and cuffs and you really want to make a, a garment on your, like on one solitary machine, like even like a polo shirt, you can do that all on like a combo machine, um, especially with collars, cuffs and plackets and stuff like that. With that chain stitch, you can, you can do a lot with it. Oh, wow. So this is a... Um... Oh my goodness, what is this one called? This is a, uh, remind me, Julian. <laughs> that is, is that, is given, is either the flat lock, but is it a three thread or a two thread? Yeah. So this was made into um, actually a table runner. I like and it. And just used as a, like a decorative feature to, you know, embellish the fabrics. And I thought it was really cool. And it's, it's got the um, the loops on the back and then like the um, the cover, two stitch cover. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Uh, cover and what I have I didn't even bring down to show today is um, you can do full quilt as you go. So I like to do uh, quilted pillow covers um, and it's all quilt as you go. So that's just, especially if you're just getting used to your serger, four thread um, overlock is fine for this. And you are literally making sandwiches and just using um, jelly roll strips. And you are literally, I do a log cabin style and do quilts as you go with that. And it already has a batting, the backing and everything like that. And I just add a back and make a whole pillow cover. All of my serger. <laughs> Barbara Jones is one of our loyal uh, followers, and um, she has a funny comment. I love it. Does Julian do a boot camp? We could surge our fatigues and cover stitch our backpacks. I'd sign up in a heartbeat. I'm pretty sure Barbara has this surgery too. So, oh my goodness, I love Not it. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Not a bad idea. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, goodness. Mm. So tell us a little bit more about what other types of things that you make with your sergers. I literally the the sky's the limit, really, in the way that I think about it. Um, you can do 
whatever whatever really kind of puts your mind to it. And I love that, especially with Bernina and Burnett, um, Bernina is thinking about the whole lifespan of people coming into the um, to the hobby of sewing into the craft. So sometimes when people see the price of a Bernina um, and they see the MSRP, they think like, oh my God, I'm scared. Even though usually there are great deals, great coupons, there, there's ways to w ways to get what you want and financing. There's ways to get what you want, but sometimes people think like I will never be able to get a Bernina, and and you talk about the quality and stuff like that. Is there anything like that? And then we now also have Bur the Burnett line of air thread machines as well. Now they are manual, but they are still great quality machines. You still have a lot of the same features that you want in a machine, such as a freehand system, such as the micro thread control and the air thread system. Um, just with manual, usually um, manual stitch selection, manual um, tension, but it's still a great machine. So I've been using my B68, which is the combo cover stitch machine with Burnett, because um, I really want to be able to show people that you can have a great quality stitch at a more accessible price, especially if you're just getting started or if you're younger and just really trying to upgrade into the different machines. You can start here. Keep this if you want to upgrade to an 890 or something like that. That's always great. Or a lot of my friends, what they've done is they like to have separate machines. So they have like an 860 for one and then a B62, which is the air thread cover stitch from Burnett as a way to supplement for their cover stitching needs. I love it. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the difference between um, Bernina and Burnett. I know we're talking about those two brands. Um um both very very good brands of sergers um Absolutely. burnett actually stands for we talked about odette ulchi earlier right and, um odette created the burnett line as a more um mass it's an internet like you can purchase those online yep. um it's generally a lower price point but it, they have excellent features so the B68 um, is a combination cover hem and serger. Mm -hmm. So it will do your, your chain stitches, your, um, your cover hem, but also serge stitches at the same Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Um, and then there's a serger version, which is the B64. Yep. And it has the air threading too. They all have air threading in that big space from the needle to the neck. Um, I know you're pointing to it. You want to show us some things? Sure. Well, let's see. <laughs> to make this easier, what I'm going to do, because of course, my I have my computer on one stand that is far away from me. So I'm going to pull this up a little bit. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it this way. We All have right. Annie from New Zealand watching. Good morning, Annie. Good morning. Good morning to you. All right. So what's great about this machine is, can we just talk about the space here? The space, yes. especially with your extension table, look how large that space is. Um, just really giving you a lot of space for different projects and different things like that. What's great is, is that this also comes off um, so that you can then... Use it if you if you need like a small smaller put, footprint, but then also too with this, it also has a free arm, which is great. You also have, of course, the the amount of space to the right of your needle, which makes it a lot simpler. You have room for that free arm system, so there is a little hole not on this side, but on this side right over here. Um, Super great, super smooth running machine. You can definitely feel the power in this machine. It is still um, Bernina designed. It's just not manufactured in the same factory, but a great, awesome machine to have. Um, similar, and I, so outside of this and outside of my regular Berninas, I also have a B77 Burnett as a machine that I use 
often, which is has the same like Bernina software interface and different things like that. And it is just a great running machine. And I love that I have a whole suite of Burnett machines the same way that I have a whole suite of Bernina. And I think that is it offers machines at an accessible price point for people who are just entering into sewing and maybe want to upgrade past just like a regular big box store machine that you can also get online. You can also find great materials on how to use the machines as well as still use the same Bernina um kind of network for servicing and different things like that, getting extra feet. And it has so many great options. So I love Burnett as much as I love Bernina. And I think that it, it just provides a great price point and great options at any price point for the whole entire family who is looking and interested in sewing. And you talk about family. I love the story that your whole family sewed. They do. <laughs> and it's funny because now, of course, now that I sew and they think that I am... Um, the the more the more um, experienced so is they don't they yeah no I, they expect me to sew for them now not realizing how I see this as a selfish hobby exactly so, and we all should <laughs> <laughs> so I my mother has known that she she is on a wait list it might take two years before she gets the project because it's all about what we want to do first that's what matters right. Absolutely. <laughs> Let me cut all these pieces of fabric apart and sew them back together because that is what makes me happy at the end of the day. <laughs> and I think even just as you're talking about cutting things apart and putting them back together, I literally keep like jelly roll strips or charm packs and different things like that by my machines. Just even if I don't have any idea of what I want to sew that day, I just like to be at a machine and running something. So those are simple things that you can not only get used to your machine, but really just kind of get into the habit of the mindfulness practice that sewing can bring, and especially surging. I think that surging um, takes a lot of guesswork out of it, and you don't have to worry about um, finishing something beyond just sewing it. You can just do have a simple project that you enjoy doing at any time. Right, I agree. Um, Jan says that she likes the free arm. I think it's it, it's a necessity. If your surgeon does not have a free arm, it's it's going to be very difficult to do cuffs. Cuffs, t-shirts, hems, it just it it comes in handy. Kids clothes, different things like that. It comes in handy so often. But right. not only that it has a free arm, but then it also has the so that you can have the extension table, especially if you're working with a very slinky knit. Um, having that extension table definitely comes in handy so that you don't have all the fabric kind of hanging over the machine and the weight pulling in a direction that you don't want it to pull in. So I love being able to have extension tables on all my machines when possible. <laughs> Barbara Jones says, sewing for my sister and husband is super hard. They're armchair quarterbacks. Let us know what you mean by that. I still do it though. Oh, well, you're very nice, Barbara. Yes, because I don't. <laughs> Not often at all. <laughs> well, I'd like to show a little bit about my L890. Um, this is, uh, we just talked about Burnett. So there's three versions of the one that you just showed. And I actually have them, um, pictures of them here. Uh, this is it. So the B68, and look at these price points. This is not the normal price. This month is April 2024. It's National Surger Month. This goes from April 1st through 30th. Um, this These specials are good in store or online, but look at the savings off of the regular price that you get for this month. $900 off of the Jet Air Combination Surger and Cover Him um, B68. It's $735 off of the B64 or the B62. So the B64 is the serger. The B62 is the cover him. Let us know in the comments, too, if you have any questions. If you're not sure, what's the difference between cover him, serger, and combination? I know. You there. And I think I... Having both machines, I cannot recommend either one enough. Um, if you, depending, especially depending on your budget, if you are in that around $2,000 budget, getting the B68 as your starter machine, I think can really last you. Like you will be able to grow into it and you use it. You won't be limited with the B68. Absolutely. Not at, all. not at all. But one thing I want to bring us back to is fear. <laughs> and sometimes people don't do things because they're afraid because they're unsure. I very, guess. very true. 
of how to work the machine. So let's talk now a little bit about the interface of the Bernina line, which yes. is the, um, there's two models in the Bernina line that have the interface. It's the L860, which is what you have. Yep. That's the serger. Um, and the L890, which is the serger and cover him combination. Um, let's see. Oh, here's the screen. I was playing with it earlier. So let me go, let me go home. All right, so this is the screen that you get to on the machine. It gives you a visual of what you want to do. Um, so you have your overlock, you have your cover hem, and it's a three thread cover hem. So you know how on your shirts, you look, look down at your the bottom of your t-shirt that you're probably wearing right now. <laughs> um, it has that two thread cover hem. Um, well, this one does a three thread cover hem. What do you think the benefit of that is, Julian? Like having really, it's, it's just for decorative purposes. Um, and I so I like to use a three thread cover hem. I just like the way that it looks, especially on a lot of my t-shirts and different things like that. Or if I'm using a heavier weight knit, um, I like to use that. But it really is just for decorative purposes. A lot of times, if I'm looking for a more traditional look, I will go with a wide two thread cover cover hem. Um, so that means that I have one in the far right and a far left needle, so I can have a, a nice amount of space in between. Yeah. Oh, we just got a comment from Linda Brooks. She says she has the B Burnett 004. Mm. It's a very old metal machine, and she says that she needs a video to remember how to thread it. Um, but mostly it run, runs and works great, which Berdinas do last a very long time. They're not about... They don't have... Um, like you'll notice not so much in sewing machines, but like say phones or something like that, companies okay. do what is called planned obsolescence and they make sure that the product stops working over time so that you have to rebuy another machine. Well, thank goodness the sewing machine manufacturers don't do that. Um, planned obsolescence thing, <laughs> which is why we have 15 machines that still work. <laughs> Or, or in my case, I have 60 something machines that still work all the way back going to 18. I think my oldest is 1879. So, wow. you know, I went and visit. Uh, I'm going down a rabbit hole. I went and visited a boot manufacturer in Austin, Texas, and he had machines from the 1800s that were still working, making anyway. It's amazing uh, what these tools can Absolutely. do. Absolutely. And the way they work is just is, is amazing and wonderful <laughs> and so quiet and all the good stuff. So you can choose on the surface of the machine. What do you want to stitch? Do you want to do just a regular overlock um, seam um, for finishing your edges? Do you want to do a cover hem for your, um, like turning over the edge of your sleeve or, or bottom of your garment? Or do you want a combination of the two? Okay, so let's just go through each, um, we'll go through cover hem first. And so it'll show you on the screen a picture of it and what it's called. And you can literally like scroll through and see all the different possibilities of different stitches um, in the cover hem category. And let's just say that we wanted to do a two thread chain stitch. Let's say I don't own a sewing machine and I want to sew a chain stitch, you know, to sew something together. Um, you can totally do that on this machine. Um, so I'll click that. And then it's going to walk me through every step. Now, most of the steps are automated, um, but you do have to, like, put needles in different places. You know, um, you do have to put the thread through the machine, except for the air threading part, which I'll show you in just a second. But it basically walks you through everything, and then it will show you even a video. So say I want to see how to thread my right needle. It'll walk me through a complete video, which I can pause, do that step, and then press play again and come back to it. And what's great is, is that it not only shows you what happens, but it shows you even how to unthread the machine correctly. As you can see, they are pulling the thread from the needle out of the machine and not from the spool out of the machine pulling the thread kind of going backwards, it's not always going to be the best. It can cause more lint to go into your machine. 
um, and cause more wear. So as you can see, as they're pulling the thread out from the needle area down, it's helping to make sure that everything is flossed out from like your tension guys and everything going down. Um, so just the fact that it's showing all the different processes that leads to um, just good machine maintenance and good sewing practice is super helpful. Right. Oh my gosh, this, this machine is like a best friend. So once you've completed that, it'll tell you which foot to put on, which pressure foot pressure. Oh, I don't remember where the pressure foot pressure button is. That's okay, there's a video. And it's gonna tell me exact, oh, it's this um, lever up here on the top left of the machine. Got it, okay. Walk you through every step. It'll tell you which needle to put into the machine. If you're not sure how to put in the needle, it has a video to show you how to put in that exact needle. I love it. Oh, and these it, these tools inside the machine are just phenomenal. Absolutely. Um, Some of the best tweezers ever come in Bernina machines. <laughs> I, can, I just can't get over um, the tool that takes the needle in and out of the machine. So many <laughs> manufacturers do not include that with their machines and it's just such a breeze. Absolutely. And what's funny is I, I just not too long saw the class. And of course, there was at least one needle that got that fell down into the machine. Um, and that tool really does help solve to make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, right. <laughs> OK, it'll, it'll tell you to deactivate your knife. If you're not sure, there's a video. Adjust your cutting width if you're not sure there's a video. Attach your insert. Oh, look, here's a video. This is how you attach your different insert for cut. And I, you know, I went straight to the, um, you know, the the more professional stitch. But I wanted you to see the process and how easy it is. Um, Absolutely. Everything. And what's great about it is, is that especially with, um, as you're doing this, let's say you forget to turn a knob back to its main position or anything like that, the machine will not work until you do that. So there are also those safety steps in the process to help make sure that you are getting the quality of stitch that you want. I absolutely love it. Then it'll show you how to thread the looper. So it's going to show you, I think the air thread in here. Let's just watch mm -hmm. this video. So it's easy lay in tensions. You don't have to worry about it not going into the tension disc. It's engaging the air threader. So this part is the cover hem. You press the foot control and it activates the air. And it, it just shoots right through. And what's great is they also show that you also want to make sure that you're providing a loop with your thread. So instead of just kind of taking it from the tension area down and just kind of putting the thread over it, you want to make sure that there is a loop of thread to make sure that you have enough thread to go all the way through the loopers of the machine and through all the air thread system. Um, so again, talking about that good sewing practice as you are um, using your machines to make sure that you just have the best quality experience ever and can focus more on being creative than the technical aspect of getting the machine started. Oh, look at this. April's watching. She is from Australia. Hey, April, good to see you again. Wow, what a great machine. I'm heading to a quilt show tomorrow, so I'll have to check out the Bernina here in Australia. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. And what's great about Bernina, of course, is that they are a worldwide company and you get great quality, great education and stuff like that, no matter where you go. So definitely something to check out. So this is the machine, and I love how it has actually two doors that open mm -hmm. here. Um, so to, to use the air threading on the machine, um, what I do is I just um, lift my presser foot up. I'm going to pull my threads out. Let's see. I'm just going to clip my, th my, two, um, my two threads. Can you see this? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to cut off these, and then I'm going to pull out my two loopers and I'll just trim it from the top here and I'll show you how easy it is to thread this serger. Overlocker is, is a um, actually a European term. So some people ask us, what's the difference between an overlocker and a serger? Nothing. Absolutely. I get asked that a lot because I do use them interchangeably, especially if I've been watching more European sewing videos on YouTube compared to American and you hear overlocker and 
but yes, they're, they're all doing the same thing. <laughs> all right, so now I have two threads coming out. So that's my two needles I had threaded. And I made a mess here, but guess what? It's a sewing room, so. <laughs> so basically, all you have to do is just lay in your, and you'll hear it snap. So mm -hmm. one, two, you don't have to stand up, which is nice to put these in here through the upper and lower looper. Uh, we're just doing a regular um, threading for a regular stitch. This last one is it actually threads the chain, the chain. Yes. Right? So I just uh, engage this and I turn my hand wheel until there's a little bar here, here that's gonna click close. And that's what's gonna allow everything to, um, the air to come through. So I'll just stick my thread in these little holes here. And I like to actually use the air to like kind of pull it through to get started. I'm gonna switch my camera so that you can see it come through the little looper. So, oops, I didn't want it to go all the way through. Okay, I'll switch my camera and then maybe hopefully you may be able to see it. Another thing I love about this, this foot goes to the it's side. Oh, yes. Oh, that's such a big deal. It's super so helpful to thread those needles, yeah. I'll make some loops, and then guess what? It's threaded. Here's my upper looper, here's my lower looper threads. Already super. Came out. It's, it's one of those machines that you literally can thread within less than a minute. Hence yes. why it's so fun to like change threads and have some fun with it. Exactly. This machine is a dream come true. And then all of these onboard tools, mm -hmm. um, you have your lint brush, you have your needles. You even have like a little pad here to stick extra needles in. This thing is amazing. Yes. You can use this to take your needles in and out of the machine and it holds it. And then this side actually threads the needle. And what's great is, is that it not only helps you take the needles in and out, but especially if you want to make sure that you're getting your needle all the way up into the um, into the space for your needles, that, that tool really helps to make sure that you're holding it all the way up so that no needles fall out. And another great thing is, is that let's say that you decide to get the L860, which is just the serger model, it comes with a built-in needle threader for both needles. So... The 890 does not have that just due to it also having the cover stitch needles. Um, so it kind of goes further into the into the system. And, it, it you know, there's a little bit of um, it's not as smooth and seamless to do like a built in um, needle threader for the 890. But for the 860, it's super nice to have that literally the same type of needle threader that you have in your, your machine. Uh, your regular sewing machine is also on your serger. Oh, I love it. So I'm just going to set it up for a regular stitch and I'll just let everyone see. So I already have my left and right needle threaded. I already have my knife engaged. I'm at six. Um, I have my upper looper and my knife cover insert and attached. So I've done all of these. Let's, let's talk a little about, bit about micro thread control. Um, this thing is awesome. So this little, um, dial here moves the stitch finger independent from the cutting knife and that's exclusive to Bernina and it just allows you to perfect your stitch say your thread's hanging off the edge you know Absolutely. you can pull it back in or push it back out um, and it really just helps to provide that you're getting that perfect stitch that you want to see. One of the great things about using uh, L860, L890, or even the Burnett, because the Burnett also has this, um, this feature, is that you can see the quality of stitching in the process. So even as you are doing those test stitches, it always can come out correctly. And also with the L890 and the L860, another great feature that this machine has is that it has your stitch consultant. So oh, yeah. if we you go to the home button on the screen, okay. let's see. Um, yeah, go to the little home yeah. all the way down. There you go. Thank you. And then you see the dress form. 
so this talks about the type of fabric. So you can see you have different fabric types from your uh, heavyweight wovens um, to your heavyweight knits. Then you also have like for pocket, for coats, for different type of decorative, for hemming, different things like that. And what's great is let's say that you chose a, let's go to the heavyweight woven. Is that this one? Nope, the, the third one. There you go. Okay. And then you have some different seam applications. Let's just go to A. Oh, you know, I haven't used this feature yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I it just has the best features in the world. And you're like, thanks, Julian, for reminding me that this is in the machine. So what's there is like, it will tell you what type of, of stitch you use. So this is using a cover stitch. So this is telling you to use a two thread chain for just regular construction. What's also great, let's say that you went to a four thread overlock and you wanted to overlock um, the seam. So that would be, I'm guessing B. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that, this is so cool. <laughs> I love the breadcrumbs at the top. It makes it so easy to go back. So it's, it's telling you what type. So this one is telling you to use a combo stitch. So this is that three thread overlock plus a chain stitch. So this is for finishing the edge as well as um, sewing the piece together. But what's also great is that for this fabric, which is a heavyweight woven, it will also adjust the tensions and stuff for you as well. So if you're using a different fabric from just your regular, like um, regular cotton, which is usually like a mid to light weight, it does all that for you. Let's say that you're using something like a rayon or chiffon, having access to that stitch just helps to make sure that you're getting that good quality stitch when you do your test stitches because it has fixed everything for you, including your tensions. Thank you, Bernina. Thank you, Julian, for reminding me of this amazing feature. Oh my god. No goodness. problem. You know, I, again, this is why I love the machines. I, I love being able to pry different yeah. machines. This so is I can help people out. Blind hem stitch. Wow. Mm hmm That's amazing. To do like a, a decorative. And which size needle? Oh, I love it. This it is literally amazing. It's like we were talking about, it's that sewing best friend. It tells you what to do. It's your teacher through the process and really holds your hand. And so that you can really focus on having fun and being creative. Wow. Do you want to see it sew? Absolutely. So? Okay. <laughs> so let's, um, I'll go back home. And you can do guided mode or expert mode. I think expert is if you don't need as much instruction. Is that accurate? Okay. It does not. It does not automatically go to the step by step process. But let's say that you are rethreading for a different, um, like a different stitch you normally don't use. You might need a little help in in remembering things. It is available when you do that. So there is another button that tells you if you want to see all the step by steps. It does offer that as well. Okay. So we'll just go to guided mode because I want to take the fear out of everything. <laughs> and we'll just make sure that everything is set correctly. Um, the rolled hem should be on O. Okay. And I do have all of those needle threaded. So here's like where you can actually change things if you want to mm -hmm. on the screen or you can press um, on the... Um, actual machine itself if you wanted to like make some adjustments which is a great feature to have that you can have the, the tactile buttons or the touch screen is super nice to have yeah so when i'm ready to surge let me do it a little closer up I just take my fabric and i can use can you see my knee lifter here yep. can I raise and lower my foot when i have my thread um I can push this foot to the side to make sure that all my thread is behind my foot. And I usually, do you do this? You pull your thread at a 45 degree angle out from the machine? I do, I do. <laughs> and then I'll just put my fabric underneath my, oh, I can even, I can even change the stitches per minute. I'm so, oh. <laughs> 
Sorry, I, I get a little excited, Julian, <laughs> and then I go down these little. Paths. I'm right there with you, but yes, yeah, so especially it does. This machine can go super fast, but it does not have to because you can change the stitches per minute. Um, you can go as low to I think like 500 yeah. stitches per minute, um, which is super. Yeah. Low. What's also great is that it's using the same Bernina pedal, so you can um, do the heel tap for needle up or needle down. I like to always start with my needle up because that also means my knife is up and I can get my fabric as close as possible to the project. Um, but you can also set your machine in the in the main interface to always stop with your needle down into the fabric if you need to. So let's say that you are using your serger and you get a little bit, your fabric gets a little bit off you can go ahead and stop with your needle down in the fabric, readjust your edges, and keep on going. So here's my foot pedal demonstrating the needle up and down. And literally yes. it helps if you want to do stitch by stitch to get to a certain space. So perfect, especially if you're using your machine for quilting. This, the stitch on this machine is just so perfect. Absolutely. So Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to look at anything else on the interface of the machine? I know we have five minutes left. I think um, that's enough, but I do want to show one pe uh, feature that I think is great that I, I tell everybody about. Super simple. Is this. Yes. That thing is awesome. So this is your scene guide. So literally, you attach it, and I, I will lift up my machine in just a second, but it just clips on in, and it attaches right there to your to your faceplate, so it's right here on my machine, and literally, it helps give you a good, accurate stitch, a good, straight, accurate stitch every single time, and you can set it to where you want to, so if you are making that garment with 5 8 inch seam allowance, you can set it 5 8 inch seam allowance from your, from your left needle. Wow. And you get that's, a accurate seam every single time. That's just so helpful. I get so many questions. How do I figure out what how how to yes. set for a seam allowance? Because it's like the cutter. Does the cutter have to be in a certain place or just? So normally, what I do is I always measure from my uh, my left farthest needle over. Um, now, normally, I have it. If you set it towards like your regular five and a half inch uh, stitch. It usually, or six, it usually, um, you can measure easily from, so like from your left needle to the end of the metal plate, that's five eighths inch seam allowance. From the edge of your fabric. So not where you're cutting, but from the edge of your fabric. That's now, where I get confused. My brain's like, whoa. <laughs> so <laughs> when it's stretchy, it's, it's really edge, forgiving. <laughs> from the left needle to the edge of your metal plate. So just let me show you again. So to the edge of this plate here, that's five base in seam allowance if you have your machine set at a six. Um, to the edge of the um, coming in, if you have on your regular foot coming in a bit, that is three eighths inch seam allowance. So to the edge of your foot. And then there is a line right on your machine that's like right at the right at the edge of the cutting. That is at a quarter of an inch. Oh my goodness. And you can set your seam allow your seam guide to those marks depending on what you need to do. Now, let's say that you are doing a wider stitch. So you have your cutting width at a wider distance. It's going to change it a bit, but um always measure from that left needle over to decide where you need to um measure for your seam allowance. Got it. That's very helpful. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> you're amazing. I'm so happy you came on the show again. Ah. Uh, and you said that you did a live with Sue um, O'Berry from Suki Sews recently. I've been doing her her projects and different things like that. But and you know we we did our expert campaigns at the same time. So we launched the L860 at the same time that we launched the Series Nine software. So we were able to meet and able to connect there. And so that is one of my uh, Bernina friends because we had to basically record all of that in private. So we were able to share that together. So super great um, knowledgeable person who has a great like wealth of information, not only on sergers, but also on embroidery. So definitely somebody to check out. Oh yeah. Well, she's going to be on the show next month. Um, oh, good, good, I, good. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. So let's go ahead and re-announce the giveaways that we're going to do um, very soon. 
Um, so one way to win is to comment hashtag all brands and you'll win a $25 allbrands.com e-gift card. Um, and then the second way to win is go to Facebook and um, share this publicly and you can win that way. So I'm going to go to Facebook real quick and log in and then I'm also going to share my screen but I wanted to go ahead and go through um, a few comments we didn't get a lot of questions which I was surprised about so if you guys have questions ask us now while we have the expert Julian here um, Jennifer says I now use my serger more than my sewing machine I feel that yeah yeah I know that I'm a I'm a I'm a joint person because of like the clothing and stuff I like to sew, but definitely I don't know of a project that I've sewn that did not include my serger. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said uh, you're a you are a gene. Ah, you're brilliant, Julian <laughs> from Linda Brooks. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> I agree. Tell us where um, everybody can follow you, Julian. So you can follow me on all platforms that Julian creates. I'm on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, and on TikTok. On TikTok, I am part of a group called Black Sewing Network, where um, we are a group of um, sewers of color that come together to just uh, show our creativity through sewing. On a daily basis, there's usually somebody live sewing. And when we do sew alongs, we usually go from start to finish to basically, we stop at finishing. So we don't do hems and buttonholes usually but everything else, we will start a garment from start to finish. That's really cool. And that's the way that you learned. So we yeah. can all get on and watch YouTube videos and learn from each other. And I think it's the new cool way to learn for sure. <laughs> and just even new way to build community. I also have a Facebook group called So Manly, S-E-W-M-A-N-L-Y, which folk, all people are welcome. We just focus on um, menswear and masculine inspired fashion. Nice. And that's cool because there's a lot of, I see a lot of kids stuff, a lot of women's stuff. And the fact that you're here representing men sewing, you are so welcome and we need you. So keep doing it, Julian. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Also, if you are ever like in a Joann's or um, looking at simplicity.com, I also am a pattern designer with Know Me. Um, which is um, by Mimi G. So I have some patterns that are in store. Um, of course, do I have any of the envelopes close by? No. Do I? Hold on. And no. your shirt is so cool, by the way. I love the fabric. I love the fit. It's perfect. Thank you so much. Of course, I think this is a simplicity pattern, one of my favorites, but um, I saw this fabric and just had to use it. And of course, my biggest thing was making sure that the uh, monkey's tail matched across. That's beautiful. What? <gasps> now I'm jealous. <laughs> wow. Better matching. So that is um, some, some of the classes and stuff that I teach um, or people ask about. I always try to make sure that um, I can show some different pattern making techniques or pattern matching techniques through the process, especially when you have great figural um, fabrics. We want to make sure that we're highlighting them as much as possible. That is so cool. Ah, I um, I'm so inspired. Um, Clovis says, I've never done a zipper on a serger. I thought that was an interesting comment because it, it is something that you definitely can do, especially for bag making and different things like that, using zipper by the yard, um, or using a long zipper so that it's your, there is a lot of space between your fabric and like your zipper pull and a piping foot. You can easily do one on your serger. <laughs> Okay, so Paula says, serger seams make such a professional finish. I don't make garments anymore, but I do use it for quilting and home deck sewing all the time. Absolutely. Paula says, I love how the serger controls the stretch in piecing minky. Especially when you are using your differential feed, which of course all machines have, but especially with this one. Um, and if you have the 860 or 890 and always have curious questions around, what the differential feed does, the video show you what it does. <laughs> Super helpful. Julie says, I love the ease of this machine. I want one. You are going to love it, Kelly. I promise. And especially um, this month in the deals that are available. 
I almost forgot. Let's put Let's those on the screen. Up. Thank you, Julian. <laughs> All right. So the L890, that's the one that I have. The L860 is the one that Julian has, minus the surger and cover him. His is the surger, but they both have the best friend built in that's going to walk you through every step. And that um, the, the dress form, which is the, what did you call it, Julian? The stitch consultant. Yes, consultant and friend built yep. into the machine with the air threading um, of the loopers. You get a free gift, which is a um, a luggage case and also a smaller case that that fits all of the serger feet in it. Um, yep. And if you decide to travel with your machine, having that luggage trolley super super helpful. So if you're not interested in having the best friend at the machine or having the air threading, Bernina makes these three sergers. Um, well, the 850 is the air, air serger. Um, that one's uh, $1,250 off. Um, but that one does not have the screen on the front. So it has, it has an excellent stitch quality. You just have to refer to the manual to put in um, the different... Um, settings on the machine and then the l860 l460 is six hundred dollars off and the l450 is five hundred dollars off for the month of april 2024 <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put that out there <laughs> only this month and then they go back up all right and then we have the burnett series that is uh, made by Bernina um, and you can purchase these online. They don't have the um, best friend in the machine like the L8s, but they do have the um, awesome other features of the air threading, the, the, um, the free arm, um, all, all of The knee lift and the stitch quality. Yes. And then Burnett has a, a line of sergers starting at as low as $4.99. You can get a serger or a cover stitch machine. That's only $84 per month for six months. Very, very affordable. Um, very good machines. Ah, yes. Well, thanks for asking that question, Kelly. <laughs> and thanks for reminding me, Julian, because we do have the best deals on these yes. machines for this month. Yeah. So Elizabeth, we aren't allowed to show the price of the 890. You'll have to come into our retail store or your nearest Bernina dealer. Um, you can also um, shop on Bernina.com. But if you go into a store, you will probably get a better price. Um, okay. And okay. So let's do our giveaways because we're six minutes over. <laughs> Our winner for the Facebook sharing live is dun, da, 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 ba, 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 Molly Davis. Congratulations, Molly. Please email me your name, address, and phone number to events at allbrands.com to claim your $25 allbrands.com e-gift card. Congratulations. And so let's go ahead and do our other hashtag all brands drawing and our winner is going to be oh the suspense cindy clauser a new winner that has never won before congratulations and welcome to the show here is where you can contact me to uh, collect your prize and thanks well, everybody for watching. Both of the winners today. Congratulations. Yeah. Winning is fun. <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> I always enjoy that part. My little uh, my little drummer drum here. <sighs> well, thank you so much, Julian. You're such an inspiration. And I well, I just so really proud. enjoy following you on Instagram and Facebook and just great. Well, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for following me and um, for others. Even if you do get a machine, um, have questions through the process, feel free to reach out. I'm Julian Creates on all platforms. I do answer messages, comments, and, and stuff like that. Um, so even if it means like a quick um, sewing machine help 911 type of thing, I do help when I can. 
Um, so definitely feel free to reach out, feel free to follow, feel free to share. I love to see other people's makes and different things like that. Awesome. And we're all brands.com. You can follow us on YouTube and Facebook and um, Instagram. And we're going to be live with Laura Star Irons next Thursday. So we're really excited for that. And we also have two events coming up. Uh, Everything Embroidery Market is the last weekend of April, and that is in Biloxi, Mississippi, right on the beach. Yes. <laughs> beautiful weather right now it's going to be everything embroidery sublimation vinyl cutting um for businesses or for people who just enjoy um, embroidering and uh the following weekend we will be in new orleans louisiana at the original sewing and quilting expo we'll be there with bernina we'll have the l uh eight series machines uh, we'll be there with Laura Star, Brother Juki, The Grace Company, and Designs Machine Embroidery. So we hope that you come and visit us there. And awesome. yes, thanks, thanks everybody, and thanks Julian. We really appreciate you. All right, thank you all so much. Have a good day, y'all. <laughs>